What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing one of the most asked for combos in my comment section. So I am going to be using the Do Honey Crazy Sexy Curl and the B Girl Curl Custard. So this is from the Honey Collection. And you guys have been asking for this. So we're gonna try it today, all right? Now, I do want to preface that most people, when they do this combo, they put the gel on first and then the mousse. You guys know that I don't do that. I always put my mousse on first and then the gel, so I'm gonna do that again today. Hopefully it won't make a big difference, but that's how I do it. I prefer to have the mousse closest to my hair strands to kinda buffer it from a gel. So that's how, that's my thought prep process behind it now as you guys know the mousse says that you should not use it with any oils or anything like that so of course there is nothing in my hair i'm coming straight from the shower on soaking wet hair you can see my hair dripping down my neck i'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of mousse i'm taking like probably a half a pump and i'm gonna put it on here to get my hair started and then I'm gonna go in with the custard now in my comments you guys were saying how the custard was really 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 crunchy had a really strong hold to be careful and all that and some of you loved it because of that then there were others of you saying I don't know I didn't like it it had my hair so hard and blah 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 so y'all know I don't really like hard hair and so I'm gonna be very light ooh, with this custard Ooh, I wasn't expecting, expecting that. Oh, oof. Ooh, it's kind of like honey. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, so, ooh, I'm getting a very little bit. You see that? I'm getting a very, very little bit and I'm gonna rub it in my hands first and then I'm going to apply it. So that's what I'm doing. Y'all do what y'all want to do, but that is what I'm doing. And we're going to go from there. Because you guys were saying it was so hard, I was like, well, let me see what's in this custard. So I did look it up on their website. And I did see a lot of copolymers and stuff like that in it. And some of those are film forming and some of them are for hold. It is also PVP up high on the list. And then when you get to the honey, because y'all were like, I'm surprised that it's so hard with the honey. I thought it would be more moisturizing and this and that. The honey is like the 10th or 11th ingredient. Oh, hold on. I forgot to put the mousse on. Let me get that off my hands. Okay. I'm taking one pump of mousse. And I'm taking one pump right now because I don't have a lot of mousse. And this mousse, remember last time I used it, um... See how it expands? So I'm not going to be using as much as I normally do. I was taking two and three pumps and that, that was just too much. So now let me go back in. So I'm taking a little bit of gel again. Hopefully that's not too much. I am rubbing it between my hands and then I'm applying it. So yeah. Um, so with that being said, when I saw that the honey was like the 11th. Okay, going back in. Just to get... A little bit because y'all know I like my ends coated. When I looked at the ingredients and saw the honey was like the 10th, 11th, or 12th ingredient, damn, I was like, well, shoot, that ain't. If it had all this hard, this, all the holding agents at the top, I was like, no wonder it's a hard custard. So, with me trying to. Taking the. I'm going to take take uh, two halves which is a whole because um, I'm getting thicker getting up here thicker but with me liking fluffier hair softer hair not liking crunchy hair I am going to use as little as possible I'm not gonna you know slather it on like I normally do with gels so we're gonna see because I don't want to have to wash my hair right after this if it's too hard i'm gonna get a little bit more because it's not spreading well if it's too hard or too sticky a lot of people were saying that it's sticky 
to and I don't like sticky hair. Did I pick up some I wasn't supposed to pick up? I don't like sticky hair either. So, yeah. But with me just using a little bit, I still feel like I'm getting some pretty good definition. So, yeah, this is how I'm doing it. I'm not going to talk all the way through it or do a whole lot of talking because with nothing on my hair, my hair is going to try to dry out really quickly. And I prefer to do my wash and goes on, you know, wet hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to do this around my head. Dig into this custard. Y'all see that? Get a little bit more. There we go. See that custard? And yeah, I'm gonna continue to just do this and you guys can watch. my heart saves my soul it's the air I'm breathing your grace 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 over me it's your grace 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 over me Don't deserve a thing, don't deserve a thing. You opened up your arms, you gave it all away. It's your grace, grace, grace over me. Oh, I fail, oh, I fail time and time again. It never stops you, it never stops you Oh, you're loving me, loving me to the end And you're making me new it heals my heart, it saves my soul It's the air I'm breathing, your grace Okay guys, so I'm done applying it to my hair. Sorry um, that you didn't get all of it. The call came in, my son, you gotta take the, take the call from my son uh, who's in college. So then the camera cut, cut off at bring, y'all get it, it's always something. But anyway, this is, uh oh, still full. So I didn't use a lot at all, so that's good. Um, it is a little bit, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but a little bit of white in there, which is from the foam. So I'm gonna clean that out because I don't want that to stay in there. I'm gonna try to have it least contaminated as possible. And I think next time I use this, what I might do is just scoop some out into something else um, because this holds on to stuff. So I still got a lot. And I still got some mousse left. I didn't use a lot at all. Let me get under the dryer and let this dry before it frizzes out. And then I'll come back and tell you everything. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Back from under the dryer. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Back from under the dryer. Um, hair is dry. It does have a slight cast crunchy cast on it but I think okay so if I didn't stretch my hair and I just wore it like this I think that you know it would stay crunchy 
but I think I'm going to try to stretch it. I think I'm going, you know what? Maybe I won't stretch it with heat. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do my twist technique to stretch it. Where I'm just kind of twisting it and hopefully breaking some of the cast. I'm gonna stretch this too much because my it'll hang in my face if I do. So I'll leave that out and stretch this. My hair is thick, guys. I don't know if that's going to work or not. And then, let me try not to stretch this tail. Okay, try not to stretch that tail. So I'm gonna leave my hair like this while I do a little bit to my face, not a whole lot. And I'm gonna put on some clothes, do a little bit to my face, and I'll come back, take this down, see if the cast broke at all, and we'll talk about the product, so stay tuned. Guys, I almost forgot to come back. Okay, so I didn't do a whole lot. I just put on a little lounge set because I don't plan on going anywhere. And now I'm taking down the, um, look at that. Okay. Okay, so my hair does have a slight crunch, but it's not what I thought it was gonna be based on what you guys were saying in my comments. I'm definitely able to scrunch it out so that's good but I didn't use a lot and I put my foam on first remember okay so it did stretch it a little bit not shaped like I like it because it's kind of flat I like it to kind of do like that but I'm going to try not to put any heat on it and just see what happens tonight when I sleep on it and all that stuff. Okay. <sighs> okay, guys. That's all I'm going to do to it for now. Uh, I didn't even stretch this part and it's still in my face. So, yeah. Um, let's talk about it. Okay, I use these two. I put the mousse on first. I don't necessarily like putting gel on my hair first with no leave-in. So I kind of use the mousse as that primer or that leave-in in quotations or something that's going to buffer between my hair and a gel, even though this is a custard. Uh, but with it being a hard holding custard, uh, I definitely wanted to put the leave, the uh, mousse on first and that's what I did and I think I still got a lot of great definition. I do have some movement and I think if I stretch it with heat I'm still going to have definition and I'm still going to have movement but I'm just trying not to use uh, any heat on my hair since I dried under the dryer. I'm just that's what I'm trying right now especially if I already got a little bit of elongation. So I went in with the custard on top of the mousse and I only used a little bit. You saw how much I used. I mean, this is still pretty full so I can get a lot more uses out of this. For those of you who said you got a really hard hold, I can see it because I have a slight crunch and uh, I do have some hold with me using teeny weeny bit and a mousse. My suggestion for you guys is if you're going to try this, you definitely want to use a very little bit and I definitely would do it on 
soaking wet hair. I do not see any flaking. I don't see any flurries, so that's good. I know a lot of people were saying that they got flakes with this, and I think it's probably because, again, you use too much. And if your hair wasn't soaking wet, that may have had something to do with it as well. My hair um, was wet. I did end up, it started to dry a little bit since there was no leave-in on it. So I did go in with my water bottle to get it, you know, wet before I applied the products. Now, what I am concerned about with this uh, B-Girl Custard is, where are my glasses? Put my glasses on real quick that it says specifically formulated for thirsty hair on the mend powered by science of supercharged honey to reclaim your hair's natural softness bounce and shine it says it's supposed to hydrate protect and define even the tightest curls with no crunch or flaky residue I have a problem with that that is totally not true because there definitely is a crunch now I don't have as much crunch as someone else again I did it on wet hair and I used a very little bit I'm thinking if I used it with a leave-in under it and and uh, a little bit of this I probably would get even less crunch and then if I you know stretched it with heat it probably would break the crunch so they're probably thinking you know if you use a little bit there's no crunch but right now there is definitely a crunch and if you use too much you definitely will get flakes now right now i don't have any but you know what i'm going to do i'm going to give it a few days and we'll see what happens because sometimes over days you'll start to get flurries this does have um Cationic honey in it, aloe, vitamins B, C, and E, keratin, silk amino acids. So I do want to let you know that it does have keratin and silk amino acids, which are proteins. It says apply to clean wet hair in small sections, break through with fingers to clump the curls, hood, dry, or diffuse until 100% dry, fluff as desired. So that is what I did, although I did use the mousse. I am, I am, and it doesn't say to use a leave-in, but I am anxious to find out how this works with a leave-in uh, and then using a little bit because I think with a leave-in giving me a little bit of moisture and then a very little bit of this, I think it probably would feel better because right now without having any leave-in and having the mousse and that, my hair does have a slight crunch it definitely has a hold and with that crunch being as it is it feels dry my hair is going to feel it feel like up here where it kind of broke a little bit it feels um somewhat uh soft in the fact that it doesn't have the cast on it but it still has a dry feel to it a dry a dryness to it I think I'm going to have to add some moisture to it in the next few days. I think as the days go on, it's probably going to feel drier. So those of you who are thinking that this is going to bring moisture to your hair because of the honey, I don't think so because the honey is too far down on the list in my opinion. It has too many holding ingredients up top and then the honey uh, and the, the honey is like the 11th or 12th ingredient. Uh, and then you got the, where's the aloe? The aloe is third from the bottom. So it's not enough aloe or honey in this to bring moisture to your hair in my opinion. Now, I live in Indiana. We have really cold weather, we have really hot weather, and we have what's in between. So there are days it's gonna be hum humid here and there's days that it is not. If you live in a humid climate all the time, you know, your, your hair may feel differently, but if you live in a similar climate to mine, your hair is not going to feel moisturized with this, especially if you don't have a leave-in under it. It's, it's just not, so. Uh, I like the way my hair looks. Um, I like the definition. 
and um, I like the fact that it didn't flake. Actually, these two dried quickly on my hair. I was under the dryer less than 45 minutes and my hair was dry with two products. So normally it takes me 30 minutes just with the mousse. So um, I was under there probably 35, 40 minutes with both of these. So that's not bad in my opinion when normally it takes me an hour or more to fully dry. So yeah, but those are pros, you know, those are pros for this, but the moisture is not there. And definitely if you don't like crunch at all, then this may not be for you. But y'all tell me what y'all think of this wash and go. I don't think it's bad. I don't necessarily care for, you know, the feel of it right now. But like I said, I'm going to see how it does overnight and see if the rest of the crunch breaks off as I'm sleeping because it may feel softer tomorrow and then hopefully it does and if it still feels like dry as far as, it, as far as needing moisture I might try to scrunch in some moisture with it but I am definitely surprised I'm glad that I did not get the helmet head that some people got by doing it the way that I did it um, but there's definitely a hold you got you I mean you guys can see the hold the other thing about it is you definitely can feel something on the hair there's definitely some type of residue um, that I feel a little bit but again I'm sensitive to residues so yeah and this is sticky so putting it on right on top of the mousse didn't feel that sticky but once I got it all applied my hands definitely were sticky I had to go wash my hands to get it off so this is sticky but my hair is fully dry and now that my hair is fully dry it's not sticky there are some there are some gels I know I'm going on long but there are some gels that have a stickiness to them and even once you dry your hair it still feels sticky this doesn't for me but I only used a little bit so if you used a whole lot, you may get a different result. But yeah, I just used a little bit. I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't mind how it looks. I think it looks good. I think it has a healthy look to it. A little bit of frizz here and there, but for the most part, it has a lot of definition. And yeah. I probably would use it again, but I think I want to use it with a leave-in. So if any of you have tried the B-Girl and you've actually used it with a leave-in and you liked it, let us know in the comment section below which leave-in you used. What leave-in pairs well with this? So we know for us girlies who like this but want to use it with a leave-in, don't want to use it by itself. Yeah, let us know. I might try to pick up a leave-in from this line just to see. Hopefully they work well together. Who knows? Or I might just try to see what I have around here that works well in my hair and see if it pairs well with this. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this combination. I do Okay, guys, popping in to show you third day hair using the B-Girl Custard and Mousse. And this is what my hair is looking like. So I just pulled off my lock sock and just kind of fluffed it up a little bit because I am going to wash it today. I know it's third day. I was going to try to stretch it through tomorrow, but I'm not going to chance it. So as you can see, it still has some definition for sure. And, you know, it has pretty good shape to it. I definitely could make it look okay for another day if I needed to. My problem is that it feels dry. And it feels, um, you know, frizzy and soft in areas. And then it feels crunchy or you know, uh, definitely would have cast on it in other places. And I just don't like the feel. It also looks um, real frizzy around here and me trying to, you know, put something on it to make it look better or blend or get more definition is just packing on product. And I already don't like how it feels, so I'm not going to do that. I also feel like if I try to make it last i would have to moisturize it today i'd have to turn around and moisturize it tomorrow and i have already moisturized it day two i even stretched it a little bit with the hair dryer 
because I was trying to break the cast. And I will say that if you use heat to uh, stretch your hair, it does break that cast a little bit. So it doesn't feel as crunchy if you guys don't like that crunch. So I definitely liked how it felt better after I used heat. And so today it feels uh, better still not like I like it to feel but it definitely definitely felt better than day one yeah today is day three so it definitely felt better than day one and day two um, before I use the heat sorry now, it's morning and I'm getting ready to wash it so I'm just kind of getting my thoughts but this is it it definitely looks dull so then of course i apply some oil to it trying to give it some shine and not look so dull so now i got the oil on top of the you know bee girl which is filled with not filled but definitely has honey in it and can be sticky although because i dried mine and didn't use a lot i didn't get a whole lot of stickiness but once humidity hit it you probably will feel a little bit depending on how much you use so anyway guys this is it i just wanted to come on and show you third day here i'm not going to say a lot this is a combo that i think could definitely work for someone who likes crunch who's used to their hair feeling crunchy who wants to get seven days out of it i think that this is a good combo you just got to make sure you use very little so you don't get flaking because i still didn't get any flaking you don't need a lot of this at all even though you may think that you're not using enough you're definitely using enough so if you use these two together you'll definitely get the definition and you will get the crunch that you want for seven days if you're like me and you don't like that hard hold you don't like that crunchy feel then i would say probably steer away from this um, i'm still on the fence as to whether i want to try this with a leave-in or not i kind of do just to give it justice just to say okay i did try it with the mousse i tried it with a leave-in i tried it this that way and the other before i say whether it would be something that i would repurchase again um so yeah, but right now I'm feeling like this might not be something that I'm gonna gravitate to off of my shelf. So I'm trying to think if I should use this right away. Um, not today, cause tomorrow is Sunday and I gotta have my hair looking the way I want to and feeling the way I want to. So I think I'm just gonna do a twist out today. But um, I am gonna have to use this pretty quickly because if I set it on that shelf, I got a funny idea, funny feeling that I won't pick it up again. So I need to go ahead and try it the other way just to let you guys know that. So we'll see. But anyway, this is third day hair. This is third day hair. Not a bad product, just not a product that I prefer. So I can see the people who love it, I can see why they love it and the people who hate it, I shouldn't say hate, or who, who don't love it or don't like it, I can see that too. I can see both sides of it because it's one of those products that does what you need it to do but does not necessarily feel like you want it to feel or whatever so yeah guys that's it now back to the video so yeah guys that was my third day here let me know what you think about it let me know how you felt it held up in the comment section below and i'm going to end this video here if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next one bye guys